Hello. Shelter in place or lockdown are orders in hopes of delaying the spread of the coronavirus. Today, the government has passed a $2 trillion relief bill. Help is on the way. All of us are concerned about ourselves, our loved ones, and our businesses. I'm not here today to sell you cosmetic or plastic surgery. I'm a doctor who took an oath to treat the sick. I care. I too have a family that may be in harm's way, like most of you. I watch TV and surf the internet. Any of you find it difficult to really relax at home? It's not surprising. Many big TV networks broadcast doom and gloom, a daily apocalypse, a hurricane every single day. I do find some solace in the local news channels who tell the news in a more humanistic way. They mix in the human interest stories and tell warming human success stories. I feel better. Amazingly, is a local news network that broadcasted the interview of the CEO of Ford and 3M. Both said they have retooled to make ventilators and N95 masks. Hope. These are the stories we want to hear. We want to hear hope. We want to hear from truckers who are on the road and bringing the food to the marketplace. We want to hear Americans chipping in and rising to the occasion to make things better for all of us. These are the things that give me peace and make me believe that we will be okay. It's hard to be patient or to have patience. Things take time. Many of my patients have heard me say over and over again, it's hard to have patience when you are the patient. We are concerned. Some are more frightened and fearful than others. I recommend that we follow CDC guidelines of social distancing, frequent hand washing, and quarantining ourselves for the time being so as to lower the curve and not overwhelm our marvelous healthcare system. Make no mistake, we have the best. As Floridians, we are not strangers to hunkering down. We have water and electricity and light during a hurricane, LOL. May you and your families continue to be safe during these trying times. My office remains open. Don't hesitate, call if you have questions. I'm not a primary care or ER physician, but again, I am a doctor. My staff and I are here for you. I know they've made phone calls to patients and they feel much more reassured when we reached out. Again, be safe. Eat well, stay away hydrated, keep your social distance, clean contact surfaces, wash your hands, and try not to touch your face, especially don't bite your nails. May the force be with you.